I, I don't know what it takes to become an, an amazing musician or what it takes to become an amazing writer, but I'm starting to understand a little bit about what it requires to be an amazing founder and an amazing entrepreneur. And I think that uh, there are kind of fundamentally three skill sets that is needed um, to succeed. A is a spike, meaning there's something that um, you are incredibly great at and better at than most other people. So for example, in your example, you now uh, set up this, this podcast and done a number of other things, but in particular with the podcast, you've kind of been able to reach out to a large network of highly interested individuals and uh, you know brought them into your network. And that's, that's in itself a, a great skill set and potentially a spike, but kind of knowing what your strengths are is incredibly important. And then utilizing that strength to its maximum. Like most founders are quite spiky individuals. Um, and this is not something you're born with. It's not something you develop at Harvard or anywhere else. It's something that you fundamentally need to look at yourself at and kind of try to figure out like, what am I really great at? And it's probably something connected with also your passions, right? Because that's where you spend real time. And it could be, you know, the ability to walk into an elevator and speak to kind of 20 strangers and get to know them before the elevator hits the bottom floor. It could be that you spend your entire weekend, you know, going deep into code and coding something. It could be that you read up on rocket engines and you know more about rocket engines than anyone else. Just like identify what that is. Um, um, and the second thing is drive, which is very related to passion is like the ability to get things done. Um, and not just talk about stuff, but really through the force of your personality, accomplish things. It's not related to extra being extrovert or introvert. It's not that kind of bro culture type drive that I'm talking about. It's that inner passion um, and ability to move things forward. Um, um, uh, and that can also be developed, right? It's not, you know, there's a lot of people that I know that in, in a portion of their life didn't have any drive at all, but now have more drive than anyone else. So it can be developed. And the, and, and the third is this grit thing that I spoke about earlier. And none of that you get out of, kind of, you know, it doesn't matter if you're in, in, uh, in, in Harvard or that slum in, um, that I was working in in, uh, in in Zambia to kind of develop those three skill sets. The difference is obviously the network you have access to is different, right? Obviously the network you develop at Harvard is pretty incredible. But one of the things that we're trying to do um, in Antler is provide that network to everyone so that anyone that has a spike, everyone that has that drive, everyone that has that script can access the same network uh, as I've been fortunate to, to, to access uh, due to my previous experiences and thereby access a much broader talent pool of potential entrepreneurs that have that spike, have that drive and have that grit. So, um, you know, it's, it's a long answer to your question, but yeah, most definitely it, it was not surprising, but at the same time, I absolutely don't think it's a necessity uh, for people to kind of have gone to a place like that to do incredibly well. Totally. How have you developed your own spike during these years? Have you been like, thinking about it a lot or is it something that had just evolved over time and how would you define your own spike yeah so i think that um um you know I, I thought about it obviously a lot and the way that i um think about it is uh, to try to surround myself with great individuals that have different spikes than myself right so you know if, if you look at for example the uh, you know the anti leadership team we have um, you know, people from a very diverse set of backgrounds. We have people who have very different uh, spikes. Um, you know, for example, uh, you know, uh, Fritjof von Weigard, who came on early on board, who was part of building this, are, uh, you know, incredibly organized individuals uh, who create a ton of structure um, and puts in place incredible processes that, that makes it easier to organize uh, a huge amount of individuals. And obviously currently we're working with about 1500 entrepreneurs at any point of time. That's incredibly important. Um, so I think that's one learning. It's like surround yourself with people who um, are, ha where their spike is somewhat different than your, your own, right? I think that, um, you know, I think there are two areas in which I'm, um, uh, that I consider myself at least strong is, is the ability to kind of mobilize and bring people together um, and lead them towards, uh, 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 you know, an ambitious and common goal. Um, 
Um, I think that's something that I've, I've done pretty well from an early age and really enjoy. Uh, and it's incredibly important to, to what Andrew is doing. Um, and uh, I think the other part is just kind of executional uh, skills is to just kind of getting things done. Um, so, you know, um, but I think the first one is probably where I'm, I, I'm the best. And, um, and uh, you know, currently what we're doing is, uh, is, is, is obviously, um, you know, that, that part is quite important. Um, but again, right, uh, as important and possibly even more important than your own spike are the spikes of the people you surround you with. So thinking through which co-founders you bring on board and thinking through the other people you have in your leadership team and the people that you hire to ensure that they have the skills that are required um, to, to fill up for your deficiencies is also a very, very important part of that equation.